So uh, come down, um, sit on the sidelines. Uh, most of the mosques have a place where that you can observe what goes on during the prayer times. And then certainly during the, the lectures, you can listen in and, and see what goes on in the general night. Um, you can probably get hold of a free Quran if you're interested in it. Somebody will find you one. Um, so I think it, meeting the people is the important thing if you're at all interested in it. Um, and then each community has uh, several people in it are very well versed in the teachings of the, of the Ahl Bayt and the Prophet, peace be upon them. So that they, they can take the Quran and, and uh, make you understand it at a much deeper level than the words the first reading might allow you to see. Um, so yeah, come and meet the people. If you're already a Muslim and you're watching this program, I think that it might be a good idea to be very open about the other faiths. Uh, there's a lot of carryover, at least between Christianity and Islam. And I think a lot of our Christian friends would be interested to learn how high respect uh, Jesus is held in within Islam. Um, there's a, not a lot of information being circulated at the Christian church about Islam. <laughs> um, they like to keep their, <laughs> their converts as, as well as they can. So I think you should be open. Um, I think you should be prepared to uh, greet people and um, like I said earlier, give them a smile and a handshake and a cup of tea and answer any questions that they might have. Um, I certainly received a, a great welcome when I came here. It was a big part of my uh, continuing as a Muslim into, into, you know, sort of, I don't know what you'd call it, full-time Islam. <laughs> but uh, no, I think openness, um, clarity with your conversations, clarity with your thoughts and the way you present things, um, being sure of your concepts, you know, making sure what you're saying is, is Islamic and not caught up in, in the, the rhetoric of the press. Um, it's not, not that easy sometimes. A lot of questions are, are very specific and are embedded in the minds of the other people already in the, the, the stuff that they see on the media. Um, if, if that's the case, then make sure you're referring the person to your Milana or your, your wise man, so you get the right message to these people. Um, I don't think you'll make converts, and I don't think that's what you want to make. I think you just want to get people comfortable with Islam comfortable enough to ask questions, comfortable enough for a basic understanding of where we're coming from and what we're trying to do. And all we're trying to do is create a, a peaceful society.